Hi, in this tutorial, we will going to uh, build a, uh, a simple and basic gauge to show you guys how to create gauges using the SRS. In my example here, I have um, this data set which uh, called a food menu. Let me just name it here. It's food menu, which I will going to show you using the gauge, the total price of uh, those um, uh, menus, and there is a space here, I believe. Yes, press OK. Drag and drop the gauge. Let's go to select this liner uh, gauge, and expand a little bit like this. First of all, what I'm going to do, to do is uh, let's check my scale uh, here liner and let's see my prices here. Uh, it's as a dollars um, sign and but the total will be almost like maybe 70 or 80 dollar. So I will going to change the percent into the dollar. Uh, just to click on the scale right here and right click and go to the scale value and let's go here where you can uh, increase your uh, pointer by it's 0 to 100 we are okay with that but I need to increase by 10 not 20 see how it will be changed here just click it like this it will be changed later on. Like it. Yes. Now go to the number and go to the currency. And here, when I need the currency like this, if you want to add cents, simply just increase the decimal places into one. Press OK. This is what I have currently for the the dollar. That's uh, I, how it will be. Uh, for my scale you know here where I would like to the, just let me review it here it's not showing anything by the way I need to point it my pointer one this one into uh, the total price the same thing for the point pointer two and to total price if I only select one this one the only one that will be moved and the pointer will stay uh, right here if you didn't change them both go to the preview the total I have here almost like 65 um, something else, else I will I can add here change if I want to change the color based on the price you can go right here to the liner pointer properties and go to the pointer fill and go to if you want to go to the solid here in expression I will going to say if sum because I'm using the sum oh let me go back again if sum of the f it's more than fifty then Red, else, green. Sorry, double I. Press OK. Press OK. See, it's more than 50, so it turns into green. Same thing I need to do it with a pointer number two. Let me just copy this expression and go to pointer number two go to pointer fill solid here where it will be match the pointer number one okay if you would like to add here like add if you want to add a range a range where you can uh, control it between uh, 0 and 10 so you go to the range go to the range properties and here where is the start 
range 0 into 10 and the placement uh, uh, relative to scale go to cross see where it sits it's fit exactly right here press ok the same thing if you want to do with the rest add range go to properties of the range now I'll start from 10 10 to 20 and go to cross Boop. it's placed where uh, between the 10 and 20 uh, what else we can do we can here add a label go to properties of the label and here we say like you know total price total menu price here the action if you want to link it to the report to the bookmark to the URL and here if you want to change uh, the font uh, here the color what type of the color you would like to to choose border and the shadow if you would like and let me just drag and drop it like this right here I don't like this color let me go to here give it as, as no color now if I go now I have this my scale and this is for the total price if you want to create uh, a gauge by item which is you want to jump uh, to between the pages and you want to check each price for each item you have to create a parameters so this is something that we're going to record it later that I will going to create multiple uh, just uh, a parameter for only the item name so I will jump between the names and each uh, name it will show me the result of the price or uh, if I want to add the cost to make for that gauge for exactly specifically for this item name um, this is what we have for uh, the gauges today thank you guys for watching and see you for next videos